So today we're talking about the best places to sell your baked goods as a home baker. So the first one is farmer's markets because you can start at farmer's markets if you have zero customers. If you're just starting, what I did and what I usually recommend if you can in your state is to start at a farmer's market where preferably there's a lot of foot traffic and a lot of other vendors. If you can get into a place like that at first, that's gonna be really beneficial for your business because you can meet other vendors and form relationships with them who a lot of the time go on to open storefronts or commercial kitchens. It's also a really good way to get to know some new customers and give out samples. So if you can't do farmer's markets, then try to do a pop-up. In this case, I'm talking about pop-ups where there's an already established storefront or restaurant or something like that. And you go and you set up a table or maybe they already have a table set up for you and you sell your baked goods for a couple hours that day. This is sometimes easier to get into because a lot of storefronts have unlimited days that you can do pop-ups because you could be bringing in business for them and it's something fun that they can do for their customers as well. But most of the time you can find a place that will let you do it for free. Now, pop-ups in farmer's markets, they can be hard because you do have to go out and be in front of people and usually talk to people and hand out samples, which I know is hard for a lot of people. So if you wanna do something from your home, you could do something like a subscription service where you offer maybe a specialty dessert box or certain flavors that are only available to your subscription customers. This option, your customers need to have a little bit of trust with you because they won't wanna buy a subscription service if they're not sure that every flavor you make is gonna be really good. Once you have some customers and they've developed trust with you, then you can do the subscription service and offer a really fun box or fun flavors that are only available to them through the subscription. Another way you can sell your baked goods is corporate gifts and corporate events. So this can be great for gifts for employees, meetings, special events, holidays, days, anything like that. Another place you can sell your baked goods is weddings. So a lot of people think that weddings are only for cake bakers and cupcake bakers, but recently a lot of people have gotten more into having dessert bars or allergen friendly desserts at their weddings or just random different kinds of desserts and not just cakes. So even if you don't make cakes or something like that, you can still market towards the wedding industry and use that as a way to get a lot of customers. So another place you can sell your baked goods is events. So bridal showers, baby showers, birthday parties, graduation parties, anything like that where people are gonna have food and dessert and a group of people, they're most likely going to wanna buy their baked goods. And if you have a way to decorate whatever you're selling or put little toppers on it, places like graduation parties and showers and stuff like that is a really good industry to market towards because a lot of times they want some specialized baked good at their party. So this one will depend on your state, but some states allow you to sell wholesale, which means you sell to a business and the business resells it to their customers. Some states do not let you do that and you have to sell straight to the customer, but in states that you are allowed to do that, wholesale can be a good option, depending on your goals. If you just wanna bake from home and you're just looking to make money, Wholesale might not be the best option because most of the time they want you to sell your baked goods to them at a wholesale price. So that is often much lower than what you sell them for retail to the public. So if you're just doing this to make money as a home baker and you wanna stay home-based, wholesale might not be the best option. But if you wanna have a storefront eventually or something in the area like a food truck and you want your name to be known, this can be a really good thing for you. So then eventually when you want to open a shop in that area, you're already gonna have a ton of customers that were buying from you from that coffee shop. If you're still struggling with this and you need more help in your home bakery, I have a program called the Home Bakery Blueprint where you can work with me for 12 months to grow and expand your home bakery business. If that sounds like something you need, go to the link in the description. There's some more information there and an application to apply. Okay, love you, bye.